Happy Easter 2019. I am the real Pam. During this weekend, my, some very interesting and milestone events happened. She and one of the people that she has been having difficulties with have now reconciled, offered olive branches, and waved white flags. Out in the field covering this report is our friend, All Things Nelly. She is also a spokesperson for A View is a View. She is going to give us the roundup information about this weekend's event as well as a live call in from A View is a View. Let's go to the field. Nelly. Good evening, everybody, and happy Easter, and thank you all for joining us for this news conference today. My name is All Things Nell, and I am the spokes model for A View is a View, also known as Men Pam, also known as Pam. And we are here today to discuss the event that um, happened over the last day or two where she revealed some of her deepest secrets to her, um, her life that she has not been wanting to expose. First of all, we would like to say thank you for everybody that has sent donations and that has opened their homes to her and um, offered her places to stay. As you know, how she became homeless is she has a very given heart. And by having this very given heart, she cared for people that basically ended up caring for one person, caring for one person, caring for another person, which ended her in a situation where she didn't necessarily need a permanent place to stay. Because when you are a caregiver and provider for people, it kind of, you know, you're moving from place to place. So, uh, and that answers everybody's question as to how did she get in this situation of becoming homeless. So I will tell you again, and if you missed it in her life, she had a roommate, she was caring for that roommate that was on the cane. She was caring for that roommate and it got out of hand and out of control because she was so loving and giving. So she always had family members that had a room. She went to that family member's house. She was staying with that family member, which, or, or you know, here and there, um, temporarily till she could move to her own place then whatever job she was working at that time, either the contract ended or before it could get mature enough for her to get her own place, she ended up going to care for another family member. So it's just going on for several years now. She's just been caring for people. And plus she's been working, but her contracts, you know, here and there may end or she's just been caring for multiple people. And with all that being said, again, um, the next thing we want to address is the situation with Miss Hutchinson. We want to say thank you to her. Um, as a lot of you know, if you watch her live, that has been one of the things that has really bothered her to her core. She has been so thankful and so grateful to Miss Hutchinson for reaching out to her. And it has been so heartfelt and one of the things she has needed to close chapters in her life in order to move forward. It has been greatly appreciated as well as everybody who has reached out to her and has offered olive branches in their situation and closed multiple situations. So now a lot of situations are being closed and, and being ended and we are happy to hear this. I would like to say to Miss Hutchison and both Pam that do not let people in your comments mess up this situation. A lot of times people in your comments can influence negative things. Don't listen to them. I am glad that today, this Easter Sunday, 2019, you all will be talking on the phone and be getting closer to you all's situation. This is awesome. Um, I do also have Miss Pam on the phone. She does have something that she would like to say to all her viewers, listeners, subscribers, and to all the people that said hateful things to her, such as kill herself, jump off buildings, other hateful things. She does um, have things to say, and she also has things she would like to say to everybody who has supported her 
and we have her on the phone now thank you the next question people ask as far as her donations what would she be doing with her donations her donations we have discussed multiple things to do with her donations she will either be going she will her plans is to get her own place we also discuss options such as tiny homes van life and van living which would be a series that could also be brought to you all on her channel and within her channel um so that's where all of the do donations would be going and right now um all the things that are sent through paypal and through cash app helps her have instant access where she can use those that money for meals gym membership things of th those sorts if it's storming really bad outside and she has to just get a hotel room this will allow her to do that thing instantly anything sent through um super chat those checks come after the 15th of each month so those also we'll be going down to her deposits or down payments on a place to stay um i have offered her to move for the south where the cost of living is much cheaper so she has many options and she is looking into them another thing that we wanted to address is everybody worrying about her going to um on the vegas trip and it's like this she doesn't have a place to stay so why wouldn't she go to vegas she's a free uh spirit at this point she's already living out of the suitcase and it's very simple for her to just take her suitcase that she's already living out of and go into the airport pull a car there park it pay for parking and get on a plane and, and live and stay at a hotel for a week versus living in her car for a week so why wouldn't she go to vegas i already knew that she had the the ticket and everything purchased for Vegas. We also want to give special thanks to Mr. Bradley. Other question that um, we want to address is how is she going to Vegas? She is going to Vegas because she's already living out of a suitcase. So why wouldn't you just go to Vegas She's already living out of the suitcase. It's simple to roll that suitcase onto a flight and continue on. She has no baggage. Why not go stay in a nice, cozy hotel versus living in your vehicle? She had already paid for this this ticket way back when. A lot of us already knew about um, the ticket situation. And we all also want to send um, love and a shout out to Miss... Um, phone jones also known as pj and sg she knew all along that there was something going on she could never pinpoint it we could never figure it out but being two of her closest friends um we've been here and i'm so glad that we were because we never knew it was on this level we she always dropped little hints so we knew it was something but as view stated herself she just didn't tell anybody but she always gave us a just a, a close enough clue to let us know to just be there for her. and so that's what we have done and that's what we recommend that everybody else do instead of leaving the negative comments that's what we recommend i have view for view on the phone now so let's hear her statement How y'all doing? Hello. Uh, this is the uh, this is me of you, and um, I just wanted to clarify something. Uh, I think this is great to have this kind of conversation. Um, this is I don't even want to say a month of women empowerment. I think it should be uh, every day event. We need to empower ourselves, and we need to not feel like we are attacking each other or being bullied or disrespected. Um, I don't accept that from anybody. Um, and so anyway, if you know me on my channel, I have been going through some things that I have shared. And um, here on the YT streets, there are beefs and rifts and just things that have been happening with people. Um, one person that just reached out to me, uh, they apologized 
for what they have been doing. And I apologize also because it takes two to tang on two to battle. So I'm not totally innocent, but this person did reach out to me. It's Miss um, Underscore, and I am very glad that she did that because every day you wake up and you have some type of uh, anger or animosity. It's not good. It's training. So I can't wait to talk to her. I got her number. She has my number, so hopefully we'll be talking soon. I'm glad that, um, you know, that this this olive branch has been presented. Um, and, and I have a lot of people on my live and my channel and inboxing me saying, don't do it, don't do it, it's the okey doke. But you know what? what, whatever conversation that her and I have, I, I don't want to share it on the YT. I really don't. I hope she doesn't, and I know people tape in conversations and stuff, I hope she doesn't tape me. But I just really just want to talk to her. I really do. I didn't do anything to her. Um, but, you know, that's, it, it, things happen. So I just, I'm ready for this resolution to end because it takes a lot out of every day to purposely be mean to people. And I, I'm the person that's like, I'll fight verbally, physically, or whatever until I, until I'm done and then I, I'm really tired I'm done and I don't I, I guess maybe she is too both of us are very strong women um, and so I'm looking forward to uh, speaking with her and then moving on you know uh, let's see what else is going on on the YT I guess you all know that I um, have been homeless for the last four or five years now it's not like I sleep in the car every night but when I have to that's an option I have available uh, I have friends, I have family, and I stay with some of them here and there. I've been helping family members transition. I've been doing a lot of things that um, that have not been positive for me because I've been helping other people. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired. Uh, the people that I cared about, they have transitioned on, so I need to focus on myself. I showed a video today when I was in, a, in my storage unit, which I check on about two or three times a month. Um, and I showed that because someone came on and said that I was a fraud. I was a fraud. So I, I don't even know where that came from. It was the VT tolerance. He, he, he said that I was a fraud. So I feel bad that it was Easter Sunday and I had to get on here and cuss out him. I, I cussed him out and I feel bad because this is not, this is a holiday. It's a religious holiday. And, I, you know, it, the, the energy that I use to, to cuss him out because he, he has implied something that we already know he is a fraud. You know, hurt people hurt other people. And I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt people like that. And I'm, I don't want people to hurt me. I just wish this black section, section of YouTube, the Section 8 portion, I wish we would just get along, play nice, be happy, enjoy life, get the fuck behind the goddamn camera, eat healthy, exercise. I'm just tired of it. I really am. So I guess I'm waving the white flag to people. Now, I'm not, hey, I'm not perfect because, hey, hey, there's other people that I'm, I guess I'm really targeting and stuff. They're doing videos and stuff. The, the Lockhead lady did something also, and I'm not even going to speak on her, but um, I just don't want to be on here beefing like that. I want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And I want people to be happy on here on the YT. But, um, because I am how I am. If you you come for me, I'm gonna come back at you. But I need to sit back and not do that. I really do, and I understand that. Um, thank you so much, Miss Neely, for letting me come to your platform and you know and talk and, and ask questions and you know be interviewed. This is an interview, <laughs> so she already asked me the question. So basically, the the topic that I just spoke on the topic are the questions that she asked me, so I kind of combined it all together. Yes, ma'am, any more questions? No, ma'am. That is all the questions, unless I go through your video comments again and find anything that the people may want to know. I think we addressed all the important er everything from them worrying about you going to Vegas, what you're going to do with the funds. We've addressed everything. Anything else is unimportant. So we want to let you get some rest and heal that you got a busy work week coming up. We love you, the View Squad. We are rocking with you. We are here for you. And you know if you need anything, we're here for you. 
So we want you to ignore all the negative comments, all the hating comments, all the ugly derogatory comments. And we are happy that everybody has called a truth. Everybody has apologized. Everybody is being neutral and everybody is ready to grow and be better people and empower each other and to especially the women and they are ready to grow and be better and move forward and i want to say congratulations to you all and that we are happy and proud of you all and y'all are setting great examples for black women in the black community and black youtube and we appreciate it thank you thank you very much thank you so much and we will talk to you shortly wednesday april 24th 2019. While there has not been any direct conversation or face-to-face conversation between a view is a view and S underscore Hutchinson, there have been many positive conversations as well as positive comments towards healing from both parties. This is the true example of women empowerment. We hope both parties continue to heal and one day be able to sincerely be friends again. Thank you all for watching and listening. We, again, we appreciate all the love and support and well wishes. And you can, and please continue to pray for her. This has been the Weekend Roundup. We appreciate you all for watching. We hope you all tune in for the next episode and you have enjoyed your Easter Sunday.